metaphysical poets John Dunsworth. Uh, he said, do not send a man to ask for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Daryl and Melon for their commitment and uh, participants who have survived the, till the end of this conference and uh, especially thanks to sisters for their prayers for the survival of the participants. <laughs> Yeah, today's topic is reflection on the one narrow donation to Sungdok Bauman. You may not know Sungdok Bauman. Uh, I think it is important to keep and development, develop biological sensibility to every, every day of health. So I chose this topic. Sungguk Bauman was a U.S. Air Force cadet, born in Korea, and adopted at the age of three from an American family. Before graduation, he was diagnosed with a chronic myelogenous leukemia. He could not have survived five years if someone has not donated a compatible bone marrow to cure his disease. His family began to search for the potential donors, including biological parents and siblings. There was a narrow chance to find a compatible bone marrow exactly matched to his own bone marrow genotype. After failing to get information on Bauman's biological parents and siblings, the Korean media packed this donation as touching stories. As a producer concluded, his country abandoned him once, we must not do it again. In one hour documentary TV program on Bauman. The national campaign searching for compatible donors swept the whole country. Some 20 civic and religious organizations participated in this campaign and 7,000 volunteers joined the bone marrow registry. The commander-in-chief also recommended the whole army to join the registry. Finally, matched bone marrow was found among army volunteers and it was transplanted to Sungdok Bauman successfully. 20 years have passed since the bone marrow was donated to Sungdok Bauman and it may be considered as a happy ending story. But there were many ethical concerns underlying this altruistic donation, which no one has pointed out yet. Volunteer or being volunteered. First the donor was a soldier in mandatory military service. Soldiers are uniquely situated within troops where the power relationships are vertical and their status reside at the bottom. Though he might not have a sufficient in intention to give his one marrow to others, it was probably difficult for him to decline to be tested for initial compatibility against the order of the commander-in-chief. No one knows for sure whether he joined the registry voluntarily or not. 
soldiers are open course into voluntary for the sake of saving their tribes, governments, or communities. And such sacrifices for the common good can demand an enormous social price. The moral value of those types of sacrifice does pale in the face of individualism. There are some sacrifices that should not come with the applause. Lest we encourage unsound behaviors for which the cost may be socially and legally incalculable or morally unjustifiable, rather we must be guided by critical thinking as it relates to altruism. Donors' identity disclosed without consent. Second, participants in Monero registry usually remain anonymous, though the donor and the recipient's identities may be disclosed with both parties' consent. The donor identity was disclosed before he or his family gave consent to the donation as the Ministry of National Defense spokesman admitted that the competitive donor is a 23 years old army sergeant named Seo. The consent of his family has yet to be ascertained. As the donor's identity was disclosed, he had to be volunteered in response to pressure from the society. With a directed donation by a nationwide campaign to save Tonga Bauman, Boris could arise about the intense pressure put on Sergeant So to donate, leaving him who are reluctant to do so to feel coerced. Third, improper consent process. He also, also supposed that the consent process for the donor of his family was also improper. After undergoing tissue typing, a bone marrow harvest must be done on the general anesthetist so the marrow can be extracted there are multiple punctures in the pelvic area with a rigid needle screwed through the bone. Yeah, I'm not the medicine doctor, but I was told. Uh, it takes a preparatory half an hour and uh, about at 200 taps to extract one liter of bone marrow fluid from the other. Such invasive procedures poses health risk Included, including the potential for complications with anesthesia difficulties during the operation, the need for possible post-operative blood transfusion, and other problems related to the particular type of harvesting. Before the consent, the donor should be provided with the information that, first, the risk that that all serious injury will result from the harvest. Second, the temporary or permanent physical changes that the harvest will cause. And three, the overall level of surgical complication or invasiveness of the procedure. The medical staff failed to prepare a safeguard for the donor. When the donor is under extremely coarse condition, the transplantation centers are typically willing to identify a possible medical excuse so the person can bow out gracefully. It is possible that any individual, including a soldier, 
could be coerced into donating a tissue or an organ. Such coercion has been described when vulnerable society members are chosen based on blood type and cross matching. The donor who is volunteered may be more likely to experience psychological or physical trauma than the donor who stepped forward as a mature and competent volunteer. One of the Korean media reported that the potential donor was in a psychologically unstable condition before the surgery, and the medical team had to postpone the whole surgery schedule. One year after the surgery, donor was reported to have a herniated spinal disc and later argued to be unrelated to the donation itself. After all, uh, the donor was not protected at all. He was uh, not uh, uh, psychologically and uh, physically protected. Yeah, here comes my conclusion. Chasing bone marrow compatible for Sundok Bauman was documented in the media as a touching story and the donor had to be volunteered to donate his bone marrow under intense social pressure. Unlike other transplant transplantation stories, the story exceptionally focused on the donor who became a hero endured his unfavorable circumstances, not the donor to be altruistic to keep his brother. So the right of the donor could be easily forgotten. Some of the former researchers studied and compared donation by children and the incompetent adults. But none paid attention to compared donation by the individuals who are in a weak position in society, such as mandatory army soldier or prisoner in custody. In this presentation, I specifically address that the donation from the vulnerable persons who cannot make a fully competent decision cannot easily fit under the umbrella of the altruism. Individuals who decide to donate organs fall into two primary groups. Those who donate in response to a sense of a moral obligation and those who donate in response to pressure from the society. Generally, uh, in first case, it can be said that it is donated. But in the second case, we should call it, it is harvested. The second group of others decide to donate in response to pressure from the society. This pressure can range from subtle situational pressure to messages as blatant as if we don't donate, he will die in five years. Whereas moral obligations can be properly be called an internal motivation, these pressures are external and can be quite intense. Even when the pressure is not overt, the twist of society sanctions may be forced to the point where society members feel that they truly have no choice. More than half of the kidney donors in one study group was subjected to pressure that researchers felt as a compulsory correct. 
urgency and the disclosure of the situation results in the adult donor being pressured to make an immediate decision while for the vulnerable donor the situation results in a rushed proceedings in which the donor's in interests go unprotected. unprotected. This presentation will argue that organ harvest from the vulnerable persons and in questionable conditions should not be strictly prohibited. Using the more vulnerable members of society to shield us from the pain of others' illness or imminent death is unfair. It forces the weak to take on life and death burdens for which they are wholly unprepared and exposes them to harm from which they are wholly unprotected. Here are the princes. Thank you for your listening. Thank you very much, Barry. Uh, who would like to ask a question? Thank you, Barry. Any other people asking questions today? Uh, this is a really very horrible. Even people with a little basic knowledge will say this is highly unethical. Highly unethical. Without the consent of the donor, how can they declare that he will be a donor? And what is the role of the government in it? Is there any reporting of such cases there in Korea or other that you are mentioning? So what steps the government or the People concerned are taking into this to avoid this or put an end to it. Thank you for your question. Uh, in some some uh, circumstances, the Korea behave like a totally state, like the depends of the uh, chicken scientists to Kwang Woo-seok and uh, yeah I think the government must prepare the uh, safeguard for informed consent but uh, in informed consent uh, in the for the <coughs> children and the incompetent adults uh, is prepared in Korea but not for the soldiers and the prisoners. So that's the problem, I think. Thank you. Uh, next question, Irina, please. Thank you. Yes, it's very interesting. Uh, you made me think about the children who were created with IVF technology to be compatible with a certain sibling who's, who's got an illness. Yeah, I, I read up many people on the design of baby for yes. curing his siblings or her, or her siblings, yeah. yeah. They are uh, thoroughly studied in the Woodwind's paper and, uh, and for incompetent person who, yeah, who will be the uh, Competent uh, guy, guy, guardian uh, was uh, uh, thoroughly studied by the yeah. yeah. For the collection, yeah, in Korea, the collection of the uh, Old organ is prohibited in the child, in the children, but Omero collection from the uh, children is uh, not prohibited, but uh, uh, making 
designer baby is not allowed in, the, in this situation in Korea. Okay, thank you. Uh, any other comments or questions for anyone? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for this. Daryl, you've got this thing going still? Sorry? You've got your camera going. Still going? 